Now, Singapore is looking to turn plastic waste into fuel. A pilot facility will uh, trial a new process that uses chemicals to break down the most common plastics and boosts recycling rates. The National Environment Agency is commissioning a seven-month feasibility study. Vanessa Lim with more. This bottle can be broken down and turned into thread for a shirt. And this, a new plastic bag. But because of weak global demand and contamination, they'll end up here instead. Incinerated and dumped at Singapore's only landfill at Pulau Semakau. A new study by the National Environment Agency, though, could give a second life to the most widely used plastics, which are usually not recycled here. It will explore the feasibility of having a pilot facility that can sort and wash plastic waste, then break it down using chemicals. This hasn't been done on a large scale in Singapore, which mostly uses mechanical processes like crushing and can't recycle mixed plastics. Up to 72,000 tons of plastics could be recovered each year for a start and turned into a fuel called pyrolysis oil. The study will look into eventually producing enough of it to fill 120 Olympic-sized swimming pools per year. Chemical recycling is being rolled out in countries like the U.S. and Germany. We've been doing a few in the United States. Seems as it's able to take uh, different types of plastics and combine them in breaking that down into then a hydrocarbon uh, fluid. The effectiveness of that, that's something that we've really seen over the last uh, four or five years um, being a lot more cost effective and efficient. However, a small amount of the recycled product falls short of standards when plastic waste isn't cleaned or sorted properly. The ones we have seen in Germany, this has typically been used uh, to create new plastic or to substitute fossil fuel. What we have seen is that we still have, end up with fractions that are, not, that are not qualified enough for the market to take. JTC's new Kranji Green Waste Management Facility is a potential location for the plant, but the study will also shortlist other suitable sites. Six companies, including Acom and Cowie, are bidding for the study, which is expected to be awarded by early February.